people. We are back with part two. Of you staying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you would turn your Bibles to Revelation, the 22nd chapter. I, I want to also say that we thank God for the patience of the saints. Anataka pia kusema kwamba anamshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya uvumilivu wa watakatifu. In your leisure time, look up the word patience. In the, kwa muda wako. In your Bible concordance. Angalia neno subira maana yake. And God wants us to be not only patient with him but patient with one another. Mungu anataka tuwe na uvumilivu sio kwa na yeye pia bali na sisi wenyewe kwa wenyewe. Especially being helpers one to another. Hata tunapokuwa tunasaidiana. You know, uh I say that because, sure, a lot of us preachers, we can preach the word of God, or we can bring a quick word of revelation, and it don't take all a long time. It don't take, uh, uh, it don't it don't take a whole lot of time to do that. Unaona wengi tuanza kuleta neno la mungu kwa haraka, haichukui mdamrefu kutoa neno. But if God give you a word, it's important that we do. And we say whatever God tell us to do and whatever God tell, tell us to say. Mungu akitupa neno, inabidi tuliseme jinsi ambavyo tumelipokea. In its entirety. Kamili. You don't want to miss nothing. You don't want to you don't want to leave anything out. Utaki kuacha neno lolote. And when you serve in God's people, na unapotumikia watu wa Mungu, especially for example, we also doing it in English and Swahili. Na hasa unaona tunazungumza kwa Kiingereza na Kiswahili. The Bible say try one for another. Biblia inasema subiria neno. To wait one for another. Tusubiri kutusubiria neno. And as we interpret also in Swahili, tunapo tafsiri kwa Kiswahili pia, those in English we ask that you have patience. Wale wa Kiingereza tunaomba muwe na subira. And those that are listening in Swahili also for those that hear in English. Kwa wale na wao wanaosema Kiswahili pia tunaomba na wao wawe na subira kwa wale wanaongea Kiingereza. Why because the word must go forth. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu ujumbe lazima uje mbele yenu. Amen. And we must whatever God give us to serve as this meal we must this bread of life we must give in its entirety. Na mkati huu wa uzima tunatakiwa tutoe ukiwa umekamilika. With no waste. Bila kuacha chochote kile. So I thank God for the patience of the saints. Kwa na mshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya uvumilivu wa watakatifu. Revelation the 22nd chapter. Sura ya 22 ufu kitabu cha ufunuo. You know the Lord he said again in Jeremiah he wants you to he wants you to stand hallelujah and in in the way he wants you to see and he wants you to act for that old path how you which is a good way yani tunaambia kwenye kitabu cha jeremiah sita tuliambiwa tuulizie ile njia ya awali iliyo kamili and after you do that you walk in na baada ya kufanya hivyo tembea katika hiyo hallelujah hallelujah so i said i'm on a highway to heaven kuna mwimbaji alisema niko katika barabara ya kwenda mbinguni a lot of us when we plan trips Wengi wetu tunapopanga safari, you make sure that the main trip that you plan is heaven. Hakikisha safari muhimu ambayo unaipanga ni ya kwenda mbinguni. That's the one trip, that's the one place that you don't want to miss. Hii ni sehemu moja muhimu ambayo hutaki upakose. That's that good place that you need to see. Hii ni sehemu nzuri njema ambayo unachokiwa uitafute. That's that good place that you need to ask for. Hii ni sehemu njema ambayo unapaswa kuiulizia. That's that the good way. Hii ni njia iliyo njema na sahihi. That's the way in for us to walk in. Hii ni njia ambayo tumeitiwa kutembea katika njia hii. That highway to heaven. Njia ya kwenda mbinguni. Where you find rest for your soul. Ambapo utapata tulizo la moyo wako. Eternal rest. Tulizo la milele. Hallelujah for hell. Milele. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. And I'm going to read the first verse. Atakwenda kusoma mstari wa kwanza kitabu cha ufunuo 22. And he showed me a pure river of water of kisha, life. Kisha kanionyesha mtu wa maji ya uzima clear, clear as crystal. Wenye kung'aa kama bilauri. Hallelujah. Proceeding out of the throne of God and the Lamb. Ukitoa katika kiti cha enzi cha Mungu na cha mwana kondoo. Here John on the on the Isle of Patmos and Holy the Lord has given him instructions to write those things in which I have said and what I 
what I'm showing to you, and God is showing him, giving him vision of what's to come. Yani hapa Yohana alipewa ali maono kuhusu kat, akiwa katika kisiwa cha Patmos. John the Divine. Uh, Yohana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and, and here, I want you, we can read about heaven. And what's in heaven? Na I know it's hard to put it together as a picture. But sana kuiweka katika maelezo. It's so beautiful. It's so peaceful. It's a, it's our, it's our home, New Jerusalem. Ni nyumbani kwetu Yerusalemu mpya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And part of our goal is to be there. Na moja wapo ya lengo letu ni kuwa pale. To make it at all costs. Yaani kufika kwa gharama yote ile. Hallelujah. Don't let no man steal your crown. Usiruhusu mtu yeyote akakunyang'anya taji lako. Got your ticket to glory, you got your ticket to heaven, keep it. Una tiketi yako ya utukufu, tiketi yako akuwe na mbinguni itunze. So, number 2 in the midst of the streets of it. Na na mtaro wa pili katikati ya njia kuu yake. And on either side of the river was there a tree of life which bare twelve manner of fruit. Na upande huu na upande huu wa ule mto ulikuwa hapo mti wa uzima uzaao matunda aina kumina mbili wenye kutoa matunda yake kila mwezi. And yield her fruit every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nation. Na majani ya mti huo ni ya kuwaponya mataifa. The tree of life. Mti wa uzima. That bear 12 type of fruit. Unaotoa matunda 12, aina 12. And the leaves were for the healing of the nation. Na majani ni kwa ajili ya uponyaji wa mataifa. Oh, hallelujah. So hallelujah. We, we, we have bananas. Kwa tuna ndizi. Banana trees, right? Migomba. But they don't have other fruit other than bananas. Lakini hamna matunda tofauti zaidi ya ndizi. You have oranges. Kuna machungwa. Ah, uh, you have different type of trees that bear different type of fruit. Miti mbalimbali inatoa matunda mbalimbali. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, mango, mango tree. Maembe. But in heaven God got the tree of life that bear 12 brand of fruit. Kule mbinguni tumepewa mti wa uzima unaotoa matunda 12. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they will yield her fruit every month. Na utau ambao unazaa matunda yake kila mwezi. And the, the, the leaves of it for the healing of the nation. Na majani yale ni kwa ajili ya kuponya mataifa. The tree of life. Mti wa uzima. And the Lord say if you may say for example I have a mango tree we have a mango tree we have an apple tree we have banana right? we grow banana the, the word of God God call it meat he call it meat you know, uh, that, that fruit is called meat and just what it is something that sustains us. Ni kitu cha kutuweza kututegemeza uhai. It gives us vitamins. Kinatupa vitamini. Uh, nourishment to our body. Kinatupa virutubisho katika miili. God know what he is doing. Mungu anajua anachokifanya. He is all wise God, our savior. Kwa Mungu yule mwenye hekima wa Bwana yetu Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amina. Look, I just want to bring that out because of this scripture. Alitaka kuelezea yote haya kwa sababu yako katika maandiko. And it's for us to know as the children of God. Number three, and there shall be no more curse. Na wala hapatakuwa na laana yoyote tena. But the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it. Na katikiti cha enzi cha Mungu na cha mwana kondoo kitakuwa ndani yake. And his servants shall serve him. Na watumwa wake watamtumikia. We're going to, we're going to, yeah, on earth as it is in heaven. Kama hivyo mbinguni duniani kama itakuwa hivyo mbinguni. We are called to serve. Tunaitwa kumtumikia. Amen. Even Jesus when he came before his disciples, he let them know I, I, I come to serve. Na hata Yesu alipokuja aliwaambia wafuasi wake kwamba amekuja kutumika. Amen. Amen. We are servants of the Lord. He taught us. Ametufundisha si watumishi wa Bwana, ametufundisha. He taught his disciples. Hallelujah. He gave them power to heal the sick. Raise the dead, cast out devils. Aliwapo wafuasi wake uwezo wapu ombea pepo na kuponya watu na kufanya mingiza. And Jesus on a, and his disciples on the other side of Jordan baptized. But the scripture says Jesus did not baptize but he instructed his disciples to 
<laughs> Unaona upande ule wa pili wa Yordani wafuasi wake walibatiza. Yesu hakubatiza mtu ila aliwaelekeza wafuasi wake wabatize. John the Baptist disciples Yohana mbatizaji wa fuasi wake. Jesus baptized more than you do. Wakasema huyu Yesu anabatiza zaidi ya wewe. John the Baptist answer is. Yohana mbatizaji mbili yake likawa I must decrease, he must increase. Inabidi mimi nishuke yeye aongezeke. Amen. We okay. hey. Huh. We, we, he he the Lord, he's God. He, then I told you the father the one that comes they come and ask me because why he would prefer before me. Yeah, yeah, sema yeye alikuwepo kabla ya mimi siku yako. Yohana alisema hivi. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. So Jesus then baptized with the scripture say he instructed his disciples to baptize. Mhm. Yesu akubatiza ila alielekeza wafuasi wake wabatize. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Number 4. Thank you Jesus. And we are servants of the Lord. And we're called to serve. Not just to go and preach the gospel throughout the whole world, but to to serve God's people. And they shall see his face and his name shall be in their foreheads. God promises hallelujah that he will see us. We will see him face to face. And we will always be with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are sealed until the day of redemption. His name shall be in their forehead. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And there shall be no more night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun for the Lord God giveth them life and they shall reign forever and ever wala hapatakuwa na usiku tena wala hawana haja ya taa wala nuru ya jua kwa kuwa bwana Mungu huwatia nuru nao watata watata tawala hata milele na milele the Lord shall come in glory yani ule utukufu wa bwana the light of heaven shakana utukufu wa bwana you don't need a street light hutakuwa na haja ya taa you don't need a flashlight hutakuwa na haja ya taa you need sunlight wala hutakuwa na haja ya juu hallelujah but even Moses when he wanted to look at the Lord hata Musa alipotaka kumuona bwana no one seen the Lord and live tunaambiwa hakuna aliyemuona bwana na akaishi but Moses the Lord answered Moses request lakini um, Bwana akajibu maombi ya Musa by putting him in the cleft of the rock akamweka katika yaani kwenye mwamba nyuma ya mwamba Moses you can see my face but when I walk by you can see my back akasema hutaniona uso wangu bali nikipita utaniona kwa nyuma and the Lord walked by na Mungu akapita and Moses saw the back side of the Lord na Mungu akaona hapo kwa nyuma sio uso wake but after that the glory of the Lord the hit the shekana glory of the Lord that Moses face was so bright lakini uso wa Bwana yaani baada ya kuona tu uso wa Musa ulingaa kiasi kwamba ilibidi avae kama shela they were called a hoodie but he wore a veil ilibidi avae shela why because of the glory of the Lord was upon him that it was hard for people to even look at him utukufu wa Bwana ulikuwa mwingi sana watu walikuwa wanashindwa kuona just looking at the back side of the Lord kuangalia tu Mungu kwa nini hallelujah thank you Jesus asante Yesu But it's come a day that when he receives us in the air. Itakuja siku akitupokea kwenda mbinguni. We shall see him as he is. Tutamuona kama yeye. Tutakuwa kama yeye. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We shall be hallelujah just like him. Tutakuwa kama yeye. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. In number 6. Number 6. So before we get to number 6, I just want to say make your plans. If you did not make your plans for heaven. Kama ulikuwa una mpango wa mbinguni. If you were one of these to say we will not hearken to this or you you walking contrary to the word you repent and get it right with God. Yaani kama ulikuwa unabisha unasema hii hainihusu mambo ya mbinguni hayanihusu tafadhali tubu. Repent and not only get it right with God but you should be able to say it is well with my soul. Uweza kusema hii ni salama rohoni mwangu. And do what the Lord say do. Na kufanya yale ambayo Mungu anakuambia ufanye. Hallelujah. So many have not made their peace with God and have not made their peace 
with themselves. And, and doing so they're leaving here unsaved. Na kwa kufanya hivyo unakuta ikifika wakati wanaondoka duniani wanaondoka hapa wajaokoka. And we know according to the word of God. Na tunajua kutokana neno la Mungu. There's a rest for the people of God. Kuna utulivu na pumziko kwa ajili ya watu wa Mungu. And if you don't have his spirit, na kama hauna roho yake, Romans 8 and 9. Wa nane, tisa, they that have not the spirit of Christ is none of his. Wale ambao hawana roho yake hao sio wa kwake. You can you can talk about how many good works you've done. Unaweza kusema mambo mengi mema uliyofanya. Ma umetoa sadaka nyingi kiasi gani? How nice you've been to people. Umekuwa mwema kwa watu kiasi gani? You might not have killed a fly. Inawezekana hujawahi hata kuua nzi. But Jesus made it clear. Lakini Yesu ameweka wazi. Unless you're born again of the water and of the spirit. Usipozaliwa upya tena kwa maji na kwa roho. You can enter, you can see the kingdom of God. You'll be on it. You'll be an outcast. Utakuwa nje. Jesus made it clear. Yesu ameweka wazi. Mark 16:16. Marko 16:16. He that believeth and is baptized. Yule atakayeamini na kubatizwa shall be saved. Ataokolewa. He that believeth not. Yule asiyeamini shall be damned. Atalaaniwa. Oh, wow. He he say that. Yaani mtu anaweza kama anasema kweli naenda naenda Diana. Because I'm not baptized. Kwa sababu What did What did Jesus say? Yesu alisemaje? A lot of things that we do in life, we have to make decisions of. Mengi tunayofanya duniani na bila tufanye maamuzi. Before we make those decisions, we have to comprehend what it is. Kabla ya kufanya maamuzi na bila tuelewe tunachokifanya. We have to have an understanding in our mind whether to receive it or not. Inabidi tuelewe kwamba tupokee au tusipokee. If Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Kama Yesu ni Bwana na mwokozi wako. Jesus preached about hell more than anybody. Yesu alihubiri kuhusu jehanamu zaidi ya mtu mwingine yeyote. If he said he that believes and is baptized. Kama alisema yule anayeamini na kubatizwa shall be saved. Ataokolewa. It is what it is. Why because it's impossible for God to lie. Kwa sababu ni vigumu kwa Mungu kusema uongo. But if you believe not kama hauamini you shall be damned amesema utalaaniwa i am change god's word hawezi kuendesha la mungu liko hivyo lilivyo and it will is is dead to accomplish what need to be accomplished na likasimiza nia yake lililokuja kwa ajili yetu because in your um, we have to be careful that we don't have an evil heart of unbelief ila bila tu angalifu tusiwe na moyo wa ule wenye utukizo muovu usioamini amen unbelief don't move god kutokuamini hakumgusi mungu faith Imani ndio inamgusa Mungu. Amen. Faith in him. Imas, imani ndani yake. Amen. I don't worship, don't please God. Kuabudu sanamu akufanye abomination. Ni machukizo mbele ya Mungu. I am the Lord thy God that heals thee. Amesema mimi ni Bwana Mungu wako nikuponyaye. I'm a jealous God. Don't put no other God before me. Ni Mungu mwenye wivu usiweke miungu mingine mbele yako. Then Jesus man said the Lord. Amesema kisasi ni juu yake. And if I'm an idolater, somebody that believe in the idols. Na kama ni mimi na abudu sanamu. I'm going to have it. Atakosa mbingu. If I'm a sorcerer, I'm going to have it. Kama ni mchawi nitakosa mbingu. If I'm a fornicator or adulterer, I'm going to have it. Kama mimi ni mwashirika wa dini, I'm going to have it. Kama ni mlevi nitakosa mbingu. If I'm a false prophet, I'm going to have it. Kama ni nabii wa uongo nitakosa mbingu. I'm going to have it. Kama mimi ni ni apostle muongo Those that commit sin, Jesus say, is of the devil. And you will miss heaven. Unless you repent. Usipotubu. And do it the way God has called you to do. Na kufanya vile Mungu alivyokuita kufanya. Amen. Water Amen. and spirit to enter the kingdom of Maji God. Na roho kuona ufamu wa so we'll let's continue. Tuendele. Number six. And he that said unto me, these saints are faithful and true and the Lord God of the holy prophet sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done Kisha kaniambia maneno haya niamini na kweli naye Bwana Mungu wa roho za manabii alimtuma malaika wake kuwaonesha watumwa wake mambo ambayo hayana budi kuwako upesi Write these words John because this is faithful and true. I'm giving it to you. And what also hallelujah the, the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angels to show unto his servants to show these things. Yeah. That we will understand that he's coming. 
Yaani Mungu alimtuma Yohana asema neno haya na kutuonesha dalili kwamba yuko karibu kuja. These things that I show you about him. Mambo haya aliyotuonesha kuhusu mbingu. These things that I show you about being in a good, walking and standing in a good place. Mambo haya aliyozungumza kusimama katika sehemu iliyokuwa sahihi. To be in the presence of his Lord. Kuwa katika uwepo wa Mungu to dwell in the house of the Lord for help. Kukaa katika nyumba ya Mungu mileni. It's a good place to be. Ni sehemu njema ya kuwa. To be in the presence of the Lord. Kuwepo katika uwepo wa Bwana. It's a great place to be. Ni sehemu nzuri pa kuwepo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number 7. Number 7. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. Tazama na ja upesi. Heri yeye ayashikaye maneno haya ya unabii wa kitabu hiki. Who's coming quick? Jesus. Naye anakuja upesi ni Yesu anakuja upesi. Oh, you got to be able to stand but when Jesus comes you got to be ready. Inabidi usimame na Yesu akija ukawe tayari. He said I come quick. Amesema anakuja upesi. Hallelujah. And we, we have to he's coming for a church without spot or blemish. Anakuja kwa kanisa lisiyokuwa na mawa. And you're blessed because you keep the sayings, you keep God's word. You keep in his word. He said blessed are those that believe and keep the sayings of the prophecy, the prophecy of this book. Na anasema umebarikiwa kwa maana unatunza neno lake na unabiwa neno hili. Of things that to come. Kwa mambo yajayo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number 8. And I John saw these things and heard them and when I had heard and seen I fell to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. Nami Yohana ndimi niliyasikia na kuyaona mambo hayo. Na hapo nilipoyasikia na kuyaona nilianguka ili nisujudu mbele za miguu ya malaika yule mwenye kunyonyesha hayo. As a child of God God say in the last day say God I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh that your sons and daughters shall prophesy mm-hmm. that young men shall have vision and old men shall dream dreams that I will pour it out my spirit on my handmaidens on my daughters Now I just want you to in inspire you to say that in the last days God said that he will pour out his spirit that we will be able to prophesy to what we will also that he will give us vision na siku za mwisho Mungu alisema atatupa uwezo wa mabinti zetu kutoa unabii. So here it is John see these things he fell down and worship begin to worship before the angel that revealed it to him hallelujah of these things to come and of heaven. Tunaona hapa Yohana alianguka kumsujudia yule malaika. Hallelujah. Alimuonesha mambo haya kuhusu mbinguni. And so my point it is of saying this is that the vision the god give us the we dreaming as saints dreaming dreams and having visions and so forth we got the reverence god's word reverence these things reverence these things that god are showing us mm-hmm. and we are and when god say speak we speak when god and we also in reverence the fear of god where is the fear of god yani inabidi tuwe na hofu ya mungu tunapoonesha maono katika ndoto tuyatamke jinsi ambavyo tumepewa yale ambayo yanahusu kwa watu wayajue for in his 111 son his name is reverend and holy kwa zaburi ya 111 tunaambia yeye ni mtakatifu na ametukuka the fear of god is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge hofu ya mungu ni mwanzo wa hekima amen so number 9 and he said unto me see that you do it not for I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren and the prophets and of them which keep the sayings of this book worship God Naye akaniambia angalia usifanye hivi mimi ni mjoli wako na wa ndugu zako manabii na wale wayashikao maneno ya kitabu hiki msujudie Mungu The angel saying hey I'm a servant just like you I'm your brother hey don't bow down to me Make sure that worship go to the Lord. Yaani kwa tafsiri sahihi hapa alitoa mimi ni mtumishi mwenzako kama wewe usinisujudie mimi msujudie Mungu. Number 10. Number 10. And he and he said unto me seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book for the time is at hand. Akaniambia usiatie muhuri maneno ya unabii wa kitabu hiki kwa maana wakati huo umekaribia. These things that that are that that were and that are 
and that is to come. We the when we come to see the word of the Lord, hallelujah, and of his coming, uh, things to be, things concerning humanity, things concerning this earth will come to pass. Yani mambo ambayo yanahusiana na ulimwengu huu kama tunaambiwa neno la Mungu yatatokea. Don't seal that up. Tu ameambiwa mtumishi wa Mungu aliambiwa asiasuie. Number 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust. Still. He which is filthy, let him be filthy. Still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous. Still. He that is holy, let him be holy. Still. Mwenye kudhulumu na azidi kudhulumu, na mwenye uchafu na azidi kuwa mchafu, na mwenye haki azidi kufanya haki. You know, it's a saying, you are what you eat. Uh huh. But it's also a saying, hallelujah. So a man speaks, so a man be. There are so many that are unjust. You know what? They're going to be, they're going to be, when Jesus comes, they're going to still, unless they repent, they're going to still be in that unjust state. There are people that will not repent, that are filthy, that, are, that recline and walk away and will not receive, hallelujah, the word of the Lord. They will continue to be filthy still. But there are those that are going to be good, that's going to be righteous, that's going to do the will of the Lord. And present themselves as being uh, 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 without spot or blemish. They're going to be righteous still. Now, why don't you put the haki? What are you want to a haki? And those that be holy, they're going to be holy still, as the Lord said, "As I am holy, be ye holy." Hallelujah. That's God's command. Now, why am I about to take a tip? What I'm doing? Put in the name of the Lord. I'm going to take a tip. Being holy to be like Jesus. Who are come I yes? Hallelujah. So that's we met. So we it behooves us to be ready when Jesus comes. Hallelujah. And when God speaks, that we won't have an attitude of unbelief, that we say we will not hearken. We will not hear. Hallelujah. You tell your you tell your your mother and your father is talking to you and they're chastising you and you're telling them, I don't hear this. What do you expect after that? Chopper stick. Some will be beaten with a few stripes. And some with many stripes. But there, but there will be there will be retribution. There will be a punishment for this Number twelve. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according to his works shall be. Tazama na ya upesi na ujira wangu pamoja nami kumlipa kila mtu kama kazi yake ilivyo. The Lord is speaking here. He has his reward in his hand for everyone according to their works. Faith without works is dead. Mungu ana ujira kwa njia kila mmoja imani bila kazi imekufa. God said, "Go out and preach to 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 the, this gospel to all the world and some say we will not hearken I'm not going to do I don't need to do that I'm saved I don't have to I, all I need is is is, is uh, receive Christ and I'm saved and that's all the work I need Jesus died on the cross and he died for all our sins and I don't have to do nothing Somebody's been misinformed. Because James say, I'll show you my, he said, faith without works is dead. As the body without the spirit is dead, faith without works is dead also. And Jesus himself, our Savior, is saying he has his reward in his hand to give to every man according to his works. So I'm wrong. James is wrong. 
But you also say Jesus is wrong too. Yaani mtu anayepinga hiyo ina maana kwamba sisi ni ni tumekosea na Yesu amekosea na Yakobo amekosea. You need to stand. Inabidi kusimama. If you don't stand for the word of God you'll fall for anything. Usiposimamia neno la Mungu utasimamia kitu. Number 13 Jesus said the Lord said I am alpha I am and omega the beginning and the end the first and the last. Amesema kwenye mstari wa 13 mimi ni alpha na omega mwanzo na mwisho wa kwanza na wa mwisho. Amen he would be he was he, he Lord God in the beginning he be Lord God after all prophecy be fulfilled. Hallelujah in the end. Hallelujah. Number 14 Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have a right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gate in to the city. Hallelujah. Heri wazifu wao nguo zao wawe na amri kuendea huo mti wa uzima na kuingia mjini kwa milango yake. You stand. Inabidi kusimama. Keep his commandments, do his commandments. You show the love of God and God saying that you will eat of the tree of life and you will enter into those pearly gates of heaven. Ti amri zake na amesema utakula matunda mema na kuingia kwenye milango ya mbinguni. God is not like man that he will lie. Mungu sio kama mwanadamu akasema uongo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is faithful and true. Yeye ni mwaminifu. 15. 15. For without our dogs, sorcerers, whoremongers, murderers, adulterers, and whosoever loves and make it alive. Hallelujah. Huko nje wako mbwa na wachawi na wazinzi na wauaji na hao waabudu sanamu na kila mtu apendaye uongo na kuufanya. If we live in sin we are outcasts. Tukiishi katika dhambi tuko nje. If we don't abide in God's righteousness if we don't live holy you will not make heaven. Kama tupoisha maisha kitakatifu na kwa mbele. The only thing left is hell. Yaani kinachotusubiria ni jehanamu. So you literally yes be yes and you know be no. Wacha ndio yako iwe ndio na hapana iwe hapana. Choose you this day whom you going to serve. Amua leo ni nani utamtumikia. You can't serve two gods Jesus said. Huwezi kuabudu miungu miwili Yesu alisema. You going to love one utampenda mmoja and hate the other. Na kumchukia mwingine. He said if you be lukewarm ukiwa vuguvugu I'm going to Yesu alisema ni bora uwe moto au baridi. We have to make a choice. Inabidi tufanye maamuzi. I pray your choice is the same. Anaamini kwamba uamuzi wako ni kusimama. You stay. Wewe simama. But these but these poor mongers, dogs, sorcerers, people that can do evil, those that are working for the devil, murderers. They are outcasts and those that make it alive they on the outside looking in. Yaani hao waliamua kufanya dhambi hizi zilizotamkwa wao wako nje kwa maana wameamua kumtumikia shetani. Amen. Amina. You got I'm gonna give an example you have an amusement park. Kwa mfano huko una sehemu ya makumbusho na sehemu sehemu ya ku they have tuna watoto. They have different types of entertainment. Kuna vitu mbalimbali vya kuburudisha. But unless you have a ticket. Kama hauna tiketi Huh? Unless you pay the cost, you will not be able to enter. Uwezi kuingia. You will be on the outside on the outside looking in. Utakuwa nje ukiangalia ndani. You can see the right. Unaweza kaona vile vile mtu ndani. You can see the food. Unaweza kusikia cha You can see the fun. Na kuona wanapofurahia. Ha, but you can't participate. Lakini uwezi kushiriki. Because you have not a ticket. Kwa sababu hauna tiketi. Well spiritually if you don't have your ticket. Kiroho kama hauna tiketi. Your ticket is the Holy Ghost. Tiketi yako ni Roho Mtakatifu. The Spirit of God. Roho wa Mungu. If you don't have your ticket. Kama hauna tiketi yako. You cannot enter into his rest. Hauwezi kuingia kwenye pumziko la. Why because of an evil heart of unbelief. Kwa maana ya ule moyo wa kutokuamini. Because you chose. Kwa maana umeamua. Not to hear. Kutokusikia. They chose. Wameamua that we will not hearken unto his word. Faith cometh by him. Imani inakuja kwa kusikia. Inhere by the word of God. Kusikia neno la Mungu. Okay. Number 16. I Jesus has sent my angel to testify unto you of these things in the church. I am the root and the offspring of David and a bright and morning star. Mimi Yesu nimemtuma malaika wangu kuashuhudia ninyi mambo hayo katika makanisa mimi ndimi niliyeshina na mzao wa Yahudi wa Daudi ile nyota yenye kung'aa ya asubuhi 
calling me. This is what the Spirit is saying. This is what the Lord is saying. And the Spirit and the bride say, Come. The Lord is saying, Come. He's giving the altar call every day, every hour, every minute. Come. And let him that he has said, Come. And let him that a first come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. Na yeye atakaye na atayatoa ata, maji ya uzima bure. Those that hear the word of God come to God. Wale wanaosikia neno la Mungu na waje kwa Mungu. They are hungry and thirsty after righteousness shall be filled. God said come. Wale wenye kiu ya haki Bwana amesema watajazwa waje. Hallelujah. And you will be able to take of this water of life freely. Na ungeweza kunywa maji haya bure. Freely given, freely received with the gospel. Yani anatolewa bure na anapokelewa bure. Freely given, freely received is the life of Christ. Yani maisha ya Kristo yanatolewa bure na anapokelewa bure. Number 18, for I testify unto every man who uh praise the Lord, for I testify unto every man that he if the words of this prophecy of this book, if any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. Namshuhudia kila mtu asikie maneno ya unabii ya kitabu hiki, mtu yeyote akiaongeza Mungu atamuongezea huyo mapigo yaliyoandikwa katika kitabu hiki. That's why we have to follow sound doctrine. Ndio maana ndio maana inabidi kufuata injili isiyo chakachuliwa. We have to speak the truth in love and lie not. Inabidi tuzungumzie ukweli kwa upendo bila kusema uongo. And not to add to God's word because if you add whatever plague that's written in the, this holy bible will be added unto you wana tusiongeze kwenye neno la mungu kwa maana kila ni tutakalo ongeze tutapata atabu yake that's a curse iyo ni laano number 19 and if any man shall take away from the words of this book hallelujah the words of the book of this prophecy God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book na mtu yeyote akiondoa lolote katika maneno ya nabii na kitabu hiki Mungu atamuondolea sehemu yake katika ule mti wa uzima na katika ule mji mtakatifu ambao habari zake zimeandikwa katika kitabu so you have different uh, interpretations of God word different bibles where words have been taken out words have been added but all they did was add a curse and have void it they took it to glory unakuta wengi wame tafsiri neno la mungu wameondoa mistari fulani walichofanya wame jiondolea tu nafasi yao ya kupata uzima wa milei i believe god when he said that if i add anything to his word that hallelujah that the plagues of this holy bible and there's a lot of them as an example will be added unto me. Ana mimi neno la Mungu linaposema kwamba akichaka tu ajorudi katika neno la Mungu atapata ile mapigo yaliyoandikwa katika kitabu hiki nani mengi. I believe God when he said that if I take away any word from his holy word the prophecy of this Bible, this holy Bible, his word that how he that I, he'll take away my part out of the land book of life I will not have eternal life. I will not enter the kingdom of God, the uh, heaven and hallelujah and from the things which are written in this book hallelujah na mtu yeyote anaamini anaamini kwamba ni mtu yeyote akiondoa lolote katika maneno ya unabii ya kitabu hiki Mungu atamuondolea sehemu yake katika ule mtu wa uzima na katika ule mji mtakatifu ambao habari zake zimeandikwa He which testify of these things say surely I come quickly amen read that number 20 yeye yeah, yeah. Mwenye kuyashuhudia haya asema naam naja upesi amina na uje upesi bwana Yesu. He did testify these things the Lord surely I come quickly. Bwana anasema aja upesi. Amen. Amina. Even so come Lord Jesus. Amina. We looking for his coming each and every day. Tunategemea bwana Yesu kuja wakati wote. Number 21 in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Neema ya Bwana Yesu iwe pamoja nanyi nyote. Amen. 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 Watakatifu, we pray that uh, in your hearing, tunaomba katika kusikia kwenu that 
somebody that don't have the Holy Ghost Yule roho and I have the Spirit of God roho mungu, will be able to stand probably being born again of the water and of the Spirit believe God for His Word and be born again of the water and of the Spirit Zaliwa kwa maji mengi to be encouraged to continue with the Lord Amen to Amina. be saved Amen. Amen God bless you all Amen God bless you all The saints whatever you do Watakatifu chote kile unachofanya You stay Wewe si mama God bless you all Bwana Yesu abariki